Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power video. The other day I uploaded a video about the EP Ever Solar Station monitoring software and how I connected my controller to my computer so that I could monitor it. Now I had a question from another YouTuber who was trying to do the same but his wasn't working. So I will try in this video to show you how I did it. So this is the so this is the Tracer 3215BN solar charge controller. It's a 30M MPPT charge controller. On the front there is a COM port. Where it says COM, and that's normally where I connect the MT50 for monitoring because the as the controller does not have a display. But in this case, I'm hooking it up to my computer, so I have a lead plug in with an RJ45 jack on the controller end and on the other end of the cable is a USB to serial RS485 converter now I bought the converter separately from the cable and I made up my own cable but you can buy complete cables ready made on eBay so you hook your controller up to the end with the RJ45 socket and the USB end you plug into your computer. When you plug it into your computer to install it, you will probably be asked for a driver. When I bought the converter off of eBay, I was given a website to get the driver. So I've installed it, and on my computer it comes up as USB serial CH340, and then there's a it says COM3 so you need to note this COM number for use later so if I go to the monitoring software this is the EP Ever Solar Station monitoring software I try and focus now you have to add a station by clicking on this icon here and it brings up this box where you type some stuff in right so you enter a name for your station you can put in anything I'll just use my name and the rest of it I haven't changed from the default values you can enter whatever you like it doesn't actually make any difference to the controller these are the default values you need to type something in, something in to all the boxes that have a star next to them and then you go through each one in turn and then you click add at the bottom so the stuff you enter here does not really make any difference to the controller and then your station name appears here and connected to whichever COM port your serial converter is plugged into Mine is COM3, and when it's all set up correctly, the station name that's here will match the one that's up here, and then you can monitor. Now, I'm going to up here, there's a polling interval, the minimum is 10 seconds, and then you can have 20, 30, etc. And then you click on start monitoring. So you click start monitoring and hopefully it all works. I've had to remake this video about eight or nine times now because it hasn't worked. This software is a bit temperamental. It doesn't always work. It has some quirks, but if you try long enough uh, if it doesn't work, try plugging your converter into a different USB socket because that makes a difference as well. So if I click start monitoring, hopefully it's all going to work. Oh, yep, it's going to work. So it now reads the data from the controller. So we have 0.13 amps coming in from the solar. The panels are, the panels are at 13.8 volts and we're bringing in the measly 1.68 watts 
it's very dark outside it's been raining on and off so that's to be expected and we have the battery bank voltage is 12.99 the currently the BM1 compact says 13 volts so that's okay maximum voltage we've had today is 14.9 the controller is connected to a battery temperature sensor external sensor so the battery is at 18.86 The battery current is minus 0.37, so that's what's going out at the moment. And three. So we have 0.15 amps coming in, and we have the load is drawing 0.41. That's the DC load. So the net difference is we're discharging the battery by 0.24 amps. Low power is 5.45 watts. That's what's connected to the DC output, the load output. So things like lights, USB chargers, etc. I do have an inverter and that's wired directly to the batteries. So any load on there doesn't show on here. The temperature of the controller is 22.42 degrees centigrade. It's in normal status. The battery state of charge, this figure just does, does not tally up. The batteries are not 35% charged. At 13 volts they are 100% charged. So ignore the state of charge figure. So you can see here today that we have pulled in 180 watt hours today, so not a lot. There's a real time graph of the solar and the load. The solar is the red line, and the DC load is the blue line. And you can pull up ones for current and power. Obviously today is not very sunny, as we're only putting in about 2 watts. So, but anyway, that's how the software works. It is a bit finicky, and it doesn't always work. But that is the basis of how I get it to work. So basically, as long as the COM port here matches the one in your device manager, then you should be okay. If you want to know more, then I suggest you watch the channel of a YouTuber called Adam Welch. He does a lot of electronics and solar power videos. And he has done videos on the EP Ever Solar Station software. And also he reviewed the eBox Wi-Fi. It's a unit that can connect to the, the tracer charge controllers to read your data over Wi-Fi. So if you want to know more, hop over to Adam Welch's channel. If you just search for Adam Welch and you'll find more information there. He does a load of electronics videos, solar videos and that sort of thing. They're very informative. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and hopefully this will help you. But as I said, it's taken me many attempts to actually get it to work on video. So this is the umpteenth time I tried this. So if you have any problems, I suggest you try plugging your converter, the USB to serial converter into a different USB socket because that made a difference for me. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.